So how do you install programs on Linux? So we've all seen the memes with Linux users installing a browser, but it's not actually that hard. So most beginner friendly distros would come with a software manager. So think of this as like the app store on your phone. So here you can just look for programs and install whatever you like. So let's go into the corner here and we're gonna search for VLC, for example, and hit enter and uh, yeah, that's it. And you just click install. So it's basically just like an app store. Now, yes, you can also enter your browser and just look up whatever program you need and install it from there. But this is considered the wrong way of doing things. So the right way is using the scary terminal right here. So to install something here, you just, you just do sudo dnf, which is the, oops, which is the package manager for my case on Fedora. But if you're going to use Ubuntu or Mint, it's going to be apt. And if you use Arch or Manjaro, it's going to be Pacman. And then you type install, obviously, and then you just enter the name of the program of whatever you need. So we're going to have this. You can also write multiple programs here if you want. So as you can see, with a single command, we're going to install VLC, OBS, and Steam. Now, I'm not going to do that because I have them installed already. Now, what about gaming? Well, most games actually work. The ones that don't are, oops, wrong app. So the only game that I played actually was uh, Postal because uh, I got this game for free at one point and I decided to try it out. Now, what you need to do once you open Steam, just go here, go to settings, and then you're gonna find compatibility here and you're gonna enable this for all Steam titles. And in my case, I use Proton 9, but you can just use the hotfix or experimental, whatever works. Now with some games, you might have to mess up with the compatibility a little bit, but most of them just work out of the box, just install them and click play. And as you can see, the game just starts and runs. Now I'm not gonna play this because it's not very family friendly. Now, if you wanna use Epic Games, you're gonna need a something called Heroic Launcher. And also Rockstar Launcher is not supported here, but, but yeah, obviously Linux is not for everyone, but if you want to try it out, you can just either buy a laptop like I did. I paid 50 euros for this bad boy or just use a virtual machine.